host Paul Hafner, ACO Application Product Specialist. I'm going to take you through some calibration features on the liquid system. There may come a time where certain features may need to be calibrated to operate correctly, and I'll show you which one of those that we have. To get to the calibration screen, we'll touch in the upper left-hand corner. We'll come down to the house and the wrench. And here you'll see your level and dial calipers. This is your calibration menu. So in here, the top button is our calibration for the auto agitation. What this will do is it will calibrate the full motion of the agitation valve. So it will go from full close to full open. So if you notice at any time that you're not getting the full range of motion from your agitation, say you can't hit 100%, you can come in here and recalibrate the valve. Next we have the calibration for the pump or boom pressure gauges. So if you happen to have pressure showing on the screen with the pump off and the booms off, you may need to calibrate them. So we can go in here and I can calibrate them together or I can calibrate them one at a time. The key thing to remember here is that the sensor needs to be exposed to atmospheric pressure. So no held pressure inside it. So opening up the valves, taking the sensor out of its housing, whatever may need to be done to do that. And then we can calibrate it and zero out the pressure gauges. The next one down is for our auto boom fold. This is a simple operation. All you need to do is make sure you're in an area where you can unfold the booms. You can take it through. It'll walk you through what you need to do. So you just go and manually unfold all the booms while it's recording that motion. And then when you're done, you can hit the arrow to accept it. And then you can go back and using your auto fold functionality. The last one is for calibrating the level in the tank. So if it's showing you 10 gallons when the tank is empty, we can go through and recalibrate that and zero out 